This is unit 15 P3, right. and uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a warm up and a uh, cool down. The functions of the warm up is to uh, increase the heart rate, uh, raise your body temperature, prepare major joints like your shoulders, your elbows, and your knees. And uh, yeah, and the component components of the warm up are uh, the pulse raise, uh, raiser and stretches. The duration of the warm up is going to be about five to ten minutes long, and uh, we're going to do ten second stretches in between. Leg behind your back if you need support, use your partner. Okay, hold it there, switch. Then we'll move on to this stretch. Lift your toe up at the front, put your hand on your leg that's bent. Okay, switch. Now ready your ankles. Three. Lower your ankles to the bottom. Switch. Okay. We'll go back to the again. Fast side to side again. session and then after you do the main session we do a cool down. Uh, the function of the cool down is to uh, return the heart uh, to normal rate, uh, remove any waste products, uh, for example lactic acid and uh, uh, reduces DOMS which stands for uh, delay onset muscle soreness. Uh, the components of a cool down are uh, dynamic stretches. Uh, <laughs> there's three types of dynamic stretches, they're maintenance, develop and PNF. Uh, the duration of the cool down is going to be for around 10 to 12 minutes and uh, we're going to do dynamic stretching in between. Uh, the, advent uh, the advantages of the cool down are to reduce waste products, for example lactic acid again, and then the disadvantages of the cool down are the uh, risk of injury. We'll start this out, we're going to do some basic jogging to the first line, then we're going to do some heel flips in the next line. And heel flips. <laughs> I'm back. And now every two strides away from the gate. Thank you. Thank you. 